guys it's Caitlin and welcome back to my makeup room so today I have a haul for you and today's haul is going to be from TJ Maxx in Ulta so you know how I love to stop in at TJ Maxx and conveniently Ulta is literally two stores down so when I stop at TJ Maxx I like to stop at um, Ulta plus it, you know it is my birthday month this month so I did you know want to pick out my birthday gift and use my $10 off coupon so I want to go ahead here and show you what I got. We'll start here with TJ Maxx and we'll start with the non-makeup items and then we'll move into the makeup items. So the first thing here is this gorgeous picture that I got. This was $9.99. Um, this is what the tag looks like. Let me see if I can find the brand. Maybe that is the brand. Can you guys see that? So um, this here is squishy right here. You got gorgeous beading, spider webs, you got gnomes. So this is totally gonna be something that I am going to put out for Halloween. Super pretty. I love the sparkle that it brings with all these like jewels. So the next one from the same brand is this Boo one. So again, you got the jewels on the pumpkins. I really like this. So I'm gonna have to find a place somewhere here in my house to put these. And maybe, you know, I can put this one back here with the pumpkins or something. I don't know, I'll figure something out. Then, I didn't tell you how much that one was, I'm sorry. That was $6.99. This one here was $7.99. You got another Mr. Gnome. It says Boo right there. Again, this is nice and squishy. I just really like these. I was really drawn to these. You know, the picture frames are nice and distressed, which I kind of like that look. So I went ahead and picked this one up. And then the last two I found at the checkout lane. Like, you know, as I was sitting there waiting in line, we got this one here. So we got a cool little wine cup with a witch hat and a spider. This one here was $7.99. Again, the frame is a little worn. I love that kind of look. And then this one here, which was $7.99, and you got another gnome again with a little sign that says gnome gnome baddie. Got a spider, nice little gnome hair right here whatever beard whatever you call it but i really like these and i'm super excited to um kind of display these in my house once october comes around um i am that type of person where i like to every season i kind of like to decorate my house so like right now it's a little fall related and then october will come around and we'll do more like spooky and then november will be more thanksgiving related i don't know i just find that stuff really fun so on to the next item from TJ Maxx is this. So this is a Juicy Couture little bag. You open it up like this. You know, it's the perfect size here to like keep your phone in, you know, maybe a lip gloss or two. And then back here, you know, you can keep your debit card, your ID, whatever, cause you got two slots right here. So then it is a nice long uh, strap here so you can kind of wear it crossbody. And this was $12.99, and I love, love, love the pink color of this. And I've been looking for something like this that's really small that's just going to hold my phone. You know, I can kind of just wear crossbody, and I don't have to, you know, carry a bunch of stuff in my purse because, I don't know, I, I don't like to carry a lot in my purse. I'm like that kind of person, like, what do I put in there? So to have something like this is awesome. So this was $12.99, and it says here retail price was $45. So that was a great deal. And I had to pick up some socks. These again were in the checkout lane. I'm telling you, that checkout lane gets you. And these were $6.99. That's what these look like. So these are adorable little Halloween socks. And the reason I got them is because there's wiener dogs on them. And I have a wiener dog. 
So this pair and this pair are the ones that have the wiener dog on them and then the other ones are just more like Halloween related. So I figured for that price, I love, I love to wrap my dogs on my socks. I don't know, I have quite a few other dogs in socks and I really, really enjoy these. So I was super happy that I found those. And then also in the checkout lane to go with that, I found this little coffee cup. So it says, Happy Halloweeny. I love it. I have a bunch of Dachshund cups as well. I mean, I feel like it's easy to find it like TJ Maxx and Marshall's Dachshund related things, but I also have a Pekingese and I feel like I can never find anything that is Pekingese related. Um, but this here was $3.99, pretty. And then I got this coffee mug as well. This one was $3.99 and it says, do small things with great love. I was just really drawn to this. I really liked it. I thought it was cute. It's a nice big mug. I like to have my coffee in the morning. So I just thought this was super pretty and girly. It's like, I need that. And then lastly, for things that are not makeup related, I found this Juicy Couture like little sports bra. So it was two bras for $10. They are padded, so you have nice padding in here that can be removed, which is always nice. So you got a black one and a gray one, you know, so you can kind of wear it with whatever. So I'm excited to give this a go and see if they're good. If they are, then I will probably go back and get more because I feel like they're super, super adorable. So that is it guys for the items from TJ Maxx that are not makeup related. So let's get into the makeup related things. Um, I feel like right now the makeup area is very slow at TJ Maxx, but I'm assuming here um, October, November, you know, the, uh, the first part of December before Christmas, it's going to pick up. We're going to see a lot of awesome, amazing things. And even probably right after Christmas, after, you know, it's going to be even better but I just feel like it's really slow right now but um I was able to find a couple good things so this one here is by Becca so this is in pure pearl I don't believe I have this I think this came out with a collection they have like an eyeshadow palette that kind of looks like this so there's that it's like purple this is in pure pure Pearl Glow, if I didn't say anything, if I didn't say that. And that's what that looks like. So this is kind of like that baked gelée kind of formula. I love this kind of formula here. It just leaves a gorgeous finish on the skin. So this is definitely more pinky toned. There's that. I think that'll be a gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter. And as we all know, uh, you know, at the end of September here, Becca is going to be going out of business. So we are going to be seeing so much Becca products at um, TJ Maxx. So if you want to kind of pick that kind of stuff up, I would wait, wait for it to come to TJ Maxx. I did see somewhere on Instagram though, that I believe Opal and their under eye corrector is still going to be available but it's going to be like sold through Smashbox. I don't exactly know how that's going to work so that'll be kind of interesting to see but I know that a lot of people um really did like um the corrector and the highlighter. So then the next thing I saw here was by MAC and it's their Radiant Matte Bronzing Powder. So this was from a collection. I don't remember the name of the collection. I know not too long ago from Akari I bought a couple of the eyeshadows as well because um, I really liked this packaging and this is in totally topeless. I mean, the packaging is just so pretty and it's definitely in a shade that I don't have. I feel like a lot of the times they like to do these in like refined golden which you know I have four times over so I was excited. I was excited to see this. I was even more happy that it wasn't touched. So let me show you a swatch. I love MAC makeup. I think it's great. So this is super creamy. There's that. I think that's going to make a gorgeous kind of bronzer. 
just am excited to use this. Now this isn't completely matte in my opinion. I think this has more of a sheen. There's definitely not sparkle in it, but um, I think there's a little bit of a sheen in it. And this here was for $14.99. So I'm excited about this. I'm glad, you know, that we're seeing brands or collections like this from Mac in our TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And then from CC Color, I found this little eyeshadow palette. It is called Dust to Dawn. This was $4.99. Let me show you what it looks like. This also was not touched. This is what that looks like. So I want to say that this might be a dupe for the Anastasia um, uh, Jackie Ina palette. I'll have to kind of bring that palette out and look and maybe we can do a comparison. But um, this is gorgeous. The um, shimmers look great. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six mattes in here. The rest are shimmers. This color right here is calling my name in Rise. It's a little thicker. And then we'll do Raven over here, this matte purple. Look at those. Wow. Very nice. That gold is super pretty. I'm excited to give this a try. I think I have picked up CC Color palettes before from my TJ Maxx, but I don't know if I've ever tried them. So I'm excited to try this and give this a go. I definitely just saw this color story and fell in love. And then lastly, from Cara Beauty, I found this palette here. This is in Cleo Queen. So this was $12.99. And I have been finding quite a bit of Cara Beauty in um, my TJ Maxx and Marshalls recently. And until, you know, I started shopping there at TJ Maxx, I didn't know anything about Cara Beauty. Sorry, I did not have this out of its packaging. And so when I saw it there and um, I had to try it and the quality of this stuff is amazing and I kind of looked up on their website to see you know what else they had and they are super expensive I mean they're not super expensive you know something like this can be almost $30 if you were to buy it from the website so to be able to find things like this at TJ Maxx is a great great deal and I love how it was sealed you know in this plastic because you know for sure no one was going to get in there and kind of swatch it so that's what this color story kind of looks like I have so many other ones I pretty much I think have bought in all the ones that I have found at TJ Maxx when I saw this one I'm like I most definitely do not have this one so I had to pick it up that's what this looks like so of course you have three plus three pressed glitters in that, which you know a lot of people aren't going to be a fan of. You do have a matte black, but you do also have some dark brown transitions. Um, there's, looks like there's a decent amount of mattes. Looking at it real quick, I feel like there's more mattes in here than there is shimmers, which is always nice. Let me give you a swatch, and I just really have fallen in love with her formula. And to be honest, I'm going to swatch the glitter as well. I think her glitters are really nice. Like, that's the glitter. Do you see how much, like, picked up on my finger there? They're good. Like, I would use the glitters in this palette. Because, like, you see what that swatch did? I that's really good, at least in my opinion. So, I'm excited that I was able to pick this up. Let me know if you'd like to see a tutorial with this, or you know, I could maybe show you how I use pressed glitters in palettes. I would love to do that. Um, then here we're gonna move on to Ulta. I almost forgot about it. So here at Ulta, I went ahead and I got my birthday gift, which this is what my birthday gift was. It's the Glow On Youth Radiant Skin Advanced Genifique Face Serum. So this is the birthday gift. So this is in 0.27 fluid ounces or 8 mLs. Decided to give that a go. 
And then I've been wearing a lot of glitter eyeliner. Um, the only glitter eyeliner that I own is from um, Profusion. So I was looking up on Ulta's website where else I could find some glitter eyeliner and the only brand that I saw that had it was NYX. So I went ahead and bought the three that they had available in store. And I think, you know, if these work out well, then I will definitely go back online and order the rest of them. So this one here is in chamomile. Look how pretty. That is like a gorgeous true gold. I love to either just use this as a liner on the top of my lid or like today, you know, I have the black liner on. I will paint this over the black eyeliner. Just kind of whatever I'm feeling for the day. And then this one here is in diamond dust. I've just really liked the glitter eyeliners. I feel like they add a nice touch to your eye look. So this is a gorgeous silver, which is awesome because I do not have a silver from Profusion. And then this one here is in Crystal Ball. I'm excited to kind of see what this color is gonna be. Is it gonna be more peachy, more bronzy? So this one looks more champagne to me, which is awesome. I don't think I have a shade like this as well, so I'm excited to use this. And then lastly, I've been watching people do videos on this palette, the I Heart Revolution Tasty Pumpkin Spice Latte Palette, and I've not been able to find it online at Ulta. When I was searching through the Makeup Revolution, I Heart Revolution section, this was not available. It wasn't there. So I was getting ready to check out and they had one of these palettes literally sitting at each register. So I snatched that up like no other. It says pumpkin spice season. Again, I will definitely keep the palette in this packaging because I kind of feel like it adds, you know, to the packaging, you know, to the palette. So there's that. Isn't that pretty, guys? So there are, um, on the back, it does show you the shades that are in the palette. And there is... seven at least seven shades in here that are pressed pigments just to let you know let's open this up oh my goodness guys this is gorgeous this is gorgeous that's what this looks like the only thing is is this palette here is going to be all shimmers so some people are not going to like that um, if you want to you can create an all shimmer look if not you're gonna have to bring in another palette here to um, put something matte in the crease also more than likely you're gonna have to bring in another palette here for your under the brow highlight but this looks so pretty doesn't smell like pumpkin spice but that's okay let's swatch pumpkin puree and spicy and sweet and these are kind of that thicker makeup revolution formula more like Dimethicone, which I don't mind. Look at those guys. Look at that pigmentation. I'm really excited about this. So if you want to see a look on this, I would love to do it. You want to see a review on this, I'd love to do it. Um, I will probably try to do an all shimmer eye with this, see what I can come up with. So that is it today for my haul from TJ Maxx and Ulta. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.